wind. On the road again for new backpacking trick. Three days. I'm just leaving now the city of Eindhoven. Gonna cycle through Belgium to get next to Maastricht. And then tomorrow the real test start because I start climbing uphill. Toward the highest point of the Netherlands and then Germany for exploring a bit the Eiffel Park really looking forward to it new, re new setup let's hope it works cheers First, and it's already happening, be in nature, away from my home and with my tent. Three days and they are going to be like this. Secondly, I'm gonna ride through the new areas for me. So I'm very excited to explore this part of Belgium and Germany. And third, I picked a route that goes uphill. Over the 360 kilometers I'm gonna ride, I'm gonna climb 4,000 meters uphill. a great test for me to see if I'm ready to do multi-day trips uphill and against the wind apparently. Halfway through, I just stopped for lunch. Sixty more kilometers to go, all the time in the world. I'm crossing these little villages on the border between uh, the Netherlands and Belgium. Really nice look. And uh, yeah, in a bit, I'm gonna be in nature again, so let's go. I'm going super slowly because this place is amazing and I want to really enjoy it. So much peace, just me and the birds singing. I 
I'm not that far from today's destination. Today is more a day to come close to the place that I want to explore. It's a fairly easy ride, mostly flat for 110 kilometers, 120. Tomorrow is going to be very hard, so I want to save my energy as much as I can. Obviously headwind, as for the entire ride. Just be patient. Almost there. I stopped for ice cream because I'm being a good boy. And I deserve ice cream, always. Always reward yourself during a trip. Still in this amazing green tunnel. And uh, now that's a difficult turn. There you go. Twenty kilometers to go. Let's go. What a lovely day! I'm in someone's garden. They offer me a beer and a lovely place to stay. And I have access to a shower, to kitchen, to the bathroom. I found them thanks to welcome to my garden. And I must say it's an incredible arrangement for a cyclist. Go we'll relax for a bit, look, look for food, and then spend the night. Cheers! I'm in the countryside of Belgium, next to the Dutch border, and I'm walking now towards restaurants to, to gain some energies, and I'm walking because it's very good after, after riding your bike. Nobody's around. Nobody. That's it. Absolutely gorgeous ride, and uh, uh, really looking forward to see what uh, the road brings me tomorrow. Cheers. Dinner has happened and uh, walking back, I'm really far away from my camping spot, but all right, the legs are still moving, so I'm sure I'm gonna sleep really well after this walk. And, uh, and I really look forward for tomorrow because it's gonna be a very challenging day. I'm probably proving to myself that I can do it. Is the push that I need to finish preparing for the trip to Italy. Knowing that I can do the Alps if I put my mind to it, if I put my legs to it. So I really, really look forward to test tomorrow how hard it is to go uphill for 2000 meters. So yeah, time to rest. See you tomorrow.